What's up, Reefers? This is Alex Wilson right here. Alex Power Corals. That's right. I got your good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is my daily video log where hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So come check it out. All right, guys. So here's this dino flagellate nightmare. That's right, dinos. I have uh, brown slime just absolutely everywhere still. Uh, same thing, I clean it the next day, it's just absolutely back where it was. So uh, my new line of attack here is going to be to just uh, reduce the intensity of the lighting. I'm not going to do a three day blackout, I heard that a lot of people do do a three day blackout, it's just that I feel that that's going to be too harsh on the corals. So I'm satisfied with I'm reducing the intensity down to just 20% uh, 20% intensity and I'm hoping you know that if it doesn't eradicate it completely you know with the goal that it will certainly slow it down a little bit and so you know the idea is to slow it down such that you know the microfauna will have a, a better chance of catching up with it if you just slow it down a little bit and uh, it will be hopefully a little, just a little less um, toxic, a little, um, it's a little bit easier to control. You know, if I slow it down a little bit, you know, because we're instead of having to clean it every single day, let's come straight back like this. I mean, maybe you know, if it was just every other day, slow it down to that, or to every week or whatever, just slow down the growth because it's just off the hook right here. And I also. You know, just I'm running just the 10x or, the, or just the blues on this one right now. I have it on uh, you know the the cool whites just so I can film this for you guys right here. But through the rest of the day, I'm going to be uh, running it with just the blue lights on, and so there it is. You know, and unfortunately, this uh, brown slime dino flagellates you know that it's just so toxic to all the corals it just completely uh you know closed up and are certainly suffering and dying back in a major way and right yellow tang so we got to put a stop to these uh di dino flagellate slime nightmare so um, you know, I, I mean, my theory is that it's just from overfeeding from excess dissolved organics in the water. So, either way, you know, slowing down the growth a little bit just by turning down the lights. Hopefully, you know, give a chance for those uh, dissolved organics to continue to break down and to dissipate, as well as um, you know the the get in balance with the microfauna in the aquarium. You know, so. Here's a shot of the clams. You know, I just hit the, the gravel yesterday. They moved everybody all around, and it's just like nothing. Look at this right here. Shot right here of my clam completely smothered by this brown netting. It's, it's just amazing just how, how much it just nets. It's like this complete netting brown slime. So there it is all over the clam right there. Crazy. And right yellow tank streaming up all the way up, real nasty, almost turning like some of the larger areas over here. It's like a, a brown, almost like a black, super, super dark brown, almost like a black slime right there as it just folds all over it, itself right there. But yeah, I mean, that's just the... Uh, just absolutely everywhere. I can see it all in the water too as well. You know, filters picking it up, but you know, it's still all just little micro bits all in the water. And same thing over here. Right, you little tank. This is no, he's, he yellow tanks even got a whole bunch of these brown slime all on his nose, all on his face and everything. Luckily, it's not toxic to the little tang yet as far as I know but one interesting thing of note you know is the fact that I have the coral scrubber down here and you know down here you would think there's such a bloom up on top you'd think that there'd be some traces at least 
some traces whatsoever of the of the brown slime down here but no no nothing look it's just absolutely clean so what is this telling me that's telling me that something is definitely eating the these dino flagellates brown slime down here because it's just not here anywhere so you know that's one theory and I could grab a piece, a little bit of gravel down here. Doesn't have any to stick it up on top. It's, you know, I don't know. It's really weird. It's just like it's just nothing on there, and yet up here it is. So it's just pretty strange because it's just going straight around into this uh, just a coarse filter right there. But you know, I let the coarse filter right there fill up. It fills up, you know, during an algae bloom. Just almost have to clean it daily, and you know, a little bit flows down back in to the coral scrubber area here so you know, it seems like that there would be a little bit more that there would be at least some of uh, the brown slime down here right now but it's not alright well let's check out the coral 20 gallon coral roll scrubber system coral, my uh, coral quarantine system right here and yep yeah, this one's doing good just an update, quick shot of these guys, certainly doing well. Here's a shot of the toadstool with a nice, I guess they are just a little real light green polyp, especially under the 10X, it's a real light green, not a super, super dark green, but almost kind of a mix between a white and then a green, but this only has a little bit of a, of a fullerized sense under the 10X. And everybody else, I moved the. Um, here's a. Move some of the, these guys around over here. I moved the. Uh, this little finger leather over here and into this spot. It's just getting way too close to the toadstool over there, so I'm trying them out there. And straightened up a little bit of the acropore frags here a little bit. They were kind of shooting a little bit too much towards the front. But here's a shot of a major shot of the rainbow splices. That's right, guys. They're still alive in here. Certainly not. Not happy about getting them into the main display with a horrible dino flagellate nightmare. But it'll clear up sooner or later. Whether it takes two weeks or two months, certainly the dino flagellate bloom will disappear that I am confident because it was this one was just like that one just about a month ago or so right if you've been watching my videos you've seen that so I right, moved the clam back down there so far so good and everything else is just about the same oh yeah I moved the orange chitosa up here for what's left of them certainly it's uh certainly it's lost a half or three-fourths of the frag there but still a bit still a little bit of orange tissue alive on them so leave them there see what happens all right guys well check on the next update here see what happens with the brown slime with the dinoflagellate nightmare see if the my turning down the lights down you know the, you know, the, the main lights the the XR Ecotech grade XR 30s, well, 15s right here, they were at 60% uh, intensity, so I'm knocking them down to 20. And then I have the uh, the Kessels on for two hours, and so I knocked them down from 100 down to 20% as well. So we'll see what that does. All right, guys, see you on the next update. Happy reefing. Bye.